Okay, so here we are. We're uh, in my garage. I've got the uh, the tank all set up along with the stand and all the plumbing. Um, I've been leak testing it for about a day and a half now and um, had a few leaks, tracked them down, fixed them all. So let's go ahead and uh, start the quick tour. We'll start in the back. Uh, coming around here to the back, you'll see all the plumbing. Uh, very similar to the original mock-up that we had before. Um, as you can see, I've got lots of uh, quick disconnects employed and the, the whole system is completely modular. I can uh, tear it down and set it back up in about 15-20 uh, minutes. Um, I can replace any one of these parts should anything get clogged or cracked or otherwise. Uh, it makes it pretty easy. So starting at the top, we got our, uh, our overflow. Uh, coming down here, we're going to split the stream. This piece here sends the water in two directions, part of it to the refugium sump, the other part to the protein skimmer sump, or the main sump as I'm calling it. Um, we've got the secondary line that, that transfers water from the refugium sump back to the primary sump. Down here we've got a, uh, a return line that's sending it to the pump with, along with a gate valve so we can isolate the pump should we need to. Um, then over here we've got the pump is sending the water back to the, uh, to the tank. And again, a quick disconnection, we need to take that off there. So coming on up here, I've got a check valve. Um, really just there for extra insurance, uh, not necessary. The sumps actually handle the overflow. And coming up here, and we've got ourselves our return. So you can see got lots of great ripples and uh, good water movement. Coming around to the front, everything is hidden, nice and clean. So come over here, and we'll go ahead and open this up. Okay, so there's the uh, Fugium sump. See, it's got a nice volume of water there. Uh, I'll be able to put some sand, live rock, and some microalgae in there, and it should do really well. Uh, got good water flow, and uh, you can see it's overflowing and going over the side there, little teeth. Good amount of water coming in. Then go to sump number two, and we've got the uh, protein skimmer sump, and it's got the protein skimmer in there. Pulling a little uh, stand there to keep the thing up nice and high. And you can see all the water's coming in. So they're relatively quiet, not too bad. Let's see if you can see that in there. Now the main part is what I'm calling the pump house. And I've got that nice and hidden here. So if you come here, open it up. And we got the pump in there, fully plumbed. The ball valve to regulate it. Um, quick disconnects. I can pull the pump out and replace it in about maybe 10, 15 minutes should the pump fail. Um, very clean and uh, very nice. So we'll close that up. Okay, there's a quick overview. The two sumps. You see that? Okay. So uh, that's the fish tank. I think we're just about done with it. Um, I think I'll make the move this weekend and get it into the uh, living room where we can fill it with actual salt water and start the process of cycling the tank. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll post up another video as soon as we've got the, the tank in the living room.